guys, welcome to the second and also last full day in Sendai. I am talking to you now with Petra behind my back because uh, she had to stop to take a picture of a humongous spider. It was like this big and it was disgusting. I had to take a couple extra steps to avoid the spider jumping at my face. I know they don't do it, but what if? What if they did? Now we are taking about like a 40 minute walk from the train station towards the castle or the ex-castle. I don't believe there's a castle anymore. There's just like the castle grounds and you can imagine what it was like when there was a castle. So this morning we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go back to the train station and take a train to... Oh yeah, there was a thing. She's saving my life since seven years ago. Uh, <laughs> Ten, never mind. As you can see behind me, this is the X castle, very flat. And on the other side, which I showed you before, is uh, the famous <laughs> statue, which is supposed to be the second largest religious statue, I believe, in the world. Uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. We looked at the map and it's like next to some sort of industrial estate. So the original castle was built by Tatema Samune, whose uh, statue is right there behind me. I'm gonna try and... Yeah, here he is, handsome boy. Uh, he built it in 1600, but since then there were fires and wars and, you know, most recently Second World War. So there was also bombing happening here and at some point clearly they decided not to keep rebuilding it. And now you only have this here. But this is still a cool place to visit though, if you're in Sendai, because you have such a good view. You might possibly get a nice view from like one of the modern buildings, but this is nicer. There's a lot of fresh air here. You can see beautiful mountains, you can see the sea. Uh, we're also gonna try and find the local specialty, the soybean milkshake. Uh, yeah, we're gonna show you how that went later. Can you feel the beans? So I gotta say that the deeper you get into this milkshake, the more edamame flavor you're getting, which is not a problem. I enjoy it. I would get this again. Mm, Bay right now. It took us only about 25 minutes to get here from Sendai and with the JR pass it was actually free. Woo! Once you're here there's about 200 tiny islands in the area of the bay and you can take a little boat trip. Ours was I think 1500 yeah 1500 yen which is about 12 quid or 15 dollars but you can pay an extra to get into the first class which is like the, the top tier of the boat but we stayed on the bottom one and it, it was great it, they keep the windows really really clean so the views are great and also there's like some narration in english as well so you know that like these two islands look like boobs and that one island looks like a penis i did not make this up this is an actual thing going on in matsushima bay now we're gonna have a little discovery trail around the other islands that you can actually access from 
the coast. Uh, there's a couple of like little bridges. One of them is supposed to be a magical bridge where you're gonna meet your special someone. Uh, I already have my special someone. Petra! Yay! <laughs> Okay, we made it back into the hotel and now we're gonna go and do the last quintessentially Sendai thing on our list which is having the gyutan, which is the beef tongue. We are surrounded by many gyutan restaurants here, one of them just there, one of them just there and uh, after doing some Google food we decided on the more modern one and uh, I can't wait. It's supposed to be super tasty, it kind of tastes like steak with a slightly different texture but sounds good to me and it looks amazing as well. Mm. our gyutan dinner. Gyutan was delicious. I want it again. I actually did go and google already if there's anywhere I can get it uh, in Tokyo because it was this delicious kind of Japanese steak sort of salt and beef fat flavor and uh, Petra got this like sort of stewed type meal. It was kind of like goulashy. We come from the land of goulash so we appreciated that. Land of goulash. Yes. Uh, tomorrow we are off to Tokyo and Petra is leaving in two days, which is sad. Simon is coming with his dad and his brother. We're gonna stay in Asakusa and yeah, there's probably gonna be more vlogs coming up because uh, I'm spending one more week here in Japan, mostly in Tokyo, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, for joining us on this day trip and I will see you soon.